Hello and welcome back to Banished. It's It's been a long time, but I did intend to get back to this at some point. I think I may have suggested I was going to do modded. That's not happening. I looked briefly at the mods list, decided I didn't know what I was doing with it, and I was just going to play... I think I played easy last time, so I'll play medium or hard this time. The music is quite loud, so I'll turn that down a little bit. So, we start a new game. Um, I... Keith, really? <laughs> I don't know what I want to call the town. So... Well, I, I think I called it Oxville last time, didn't I? How about Oxburg? Um, I guess if I use the... I can't use letters in the, uh, in the town name. Okay, let me try and... Let me try and think about what what this would be um, if, if I were to convert it to numbers if I look at a numpad it would be 6 9 2 8 7 4 4 there we go <laughs> terrain type Valleys or mountains? We'll go with valleys or mountains. Maybe we'll go with mountains. Train size, large please. Climate, fair. Disasters, on, shore, and starting conditions. Mm, should we try hard? Let's try hard. This may be a short series. <laughs> but off we go anyway. So, welcome to the lovely village of Oxburg. Uh, there's nothing here currently. And I, first things first, I'm going to pause it so that I can set some settings. So, I need that, and that. I'm trying to remember everything I need to turn on. I do want a map. Um, maybe that goes over here, I think. I want the jobs list, that goes down here. I think that's it. I've got to also remember all the hotkeys. So it's four to speed up, one to slow down, three to play, and two to pause. Okay. So I guess the first step, it's currently raining, which is not ideal. This river is going to be our trade route, quite evidently. So that's quite important. I think the first step is going to be to gather some resources from the valley we're starting in. Obviously there's some deer here. We, as far as I'm aware we don't have any seeds. So we do have potatoes though. So we could grow some potatoes. We have no livestock. Um, so let's have a storage... Yeah, I think this is, this is the way to start. We need a storage barn. And we need a stockpile. So there we go. If I accelerate time... We should get started. I'm also obviously going to need houses. That's inevitable. And then I need to make people builders, don't I? Hmm, probably don't want everyone to be a builder. Just some people. I do need you to get on with actually building stuff. Like, you have wood. Reserve of logs is low. Well, 
you should be cutting down trees and building buildings. Stone's also yeah, I seem to have a lot of iron next to my starting place, very little stone. So okay, we are getting houses, so less people are homeless now. So that's a start. We then need... This is going to be very short-lived. We need a woodcutter. Remember, he is important. And we need a fishery, because that's basically our only way of getting food currently. There we go. And... Accelerate time again. Thank goodness the rain has stopped. That's a relief. It's getting a bit... a bit annoying that rain. Now, from memory, I didn't used to play with the music on in my old series, I think, because I didn't know if it was copyright free or not. I feel like I've just sort of started playing with the music on now, so that's a thing. That's happening. Um, okay, everyone has a house, but we are out of food, so I need this fishing hut to be built. So we could grow potatoes, but that's not ideal. It's hardly a long-term solution. Oh, can't grow potatoes. Okay then, I need to get rid of the field. How do I do that? There's a remove buildings button somewhere. I feel like the builders could be a bit more useful at actually building stuff. Or are we just completely out of everything we need? Get those trees. Stop working on that, but I could do with you removing whatever stone you can find. Don't need more iron right this second. That is not an urgent requirement. <laughs> do need to get the fishing hut built though, as um, we are out of food. We've eaten our entire potato supply. Come on, people. Build the fishing hut. Right, we've got a new labourer. You're instantly a builder. Storage barn's done, that's something. Because I imagine the storage cart is going to uh, disappear at some point. Here we go, you're building the fishing cart, finally. Probably do with another one downstream, um, once that one's done. We're going to need a lot of fish. Everyone who is not a builder can be a fisherman. We need a woodcutter. And what else? 
They are cold, well that's why we need the woodcutter. Thinking a hunting cabin might be smart. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but... Then I also want a forester lodge. Sorted. I don't know what my people are doing, but I should hope they're doing something useful. So we are completely out of food. Which is a somewhat concerning issue. We are making firewood though, so that's something. Now we've, we've caught 50 fish, we're just, you know, instantly using it. There's 184 potatoes. Oh, so we're not out of potatoes. It's just all stockpiled in houses. Yeah, the reserve of everything is always low. This isn't new. Let's get rid of these trees and stone. And that stone. That stone. Basically just anything we can get rid of we need to. Another house might be a smart idea. I'd like to put it there, but this cart is in the way. There we go. Dismantle the cart. If you'd be so kind. They're going to take their time over it. That's fine. So long as they get it done at some point. It is late autumn and the lack of food is concerning given the starting to snow. We do keep fishing throughout the winter, but that doesn't mean we're going to get a reasonable amount of food. That like said, we do have a second fishing hut up and running now. I I foresee death this coming winter. This isn't ideal. <laughs> the reserve of stone is low. Yeah, it is. That's partly due to just a significant lack of stone in this area. Iron, we're doing great with. Never going to run out of iron. Stone, however, is proving a bit more of a struggle. Gonna have to go further away for that. So we've got a bit of a little uh, fjord, glen sort of thing here. The mountain range either side, we're going to build up the middle of it, I think. Well, um, no one's freezing yet, so I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> Reserve of firewood is low. Sounds about right. Go. It doesn't take them much to build a path. I don't, I don't think it takes any resources it, for the uh, for the dirt paths. It just takes a bit of time. But it certainly speeds them up. So there we go. That's done. Just build the other bit of the path. So 
sorted. Right. Uh, it is now late winter. Okay, the year is almost over. They haven't starved or frozen. But we are running low on resources. <laughs> just in general. But the snow is, uh, the snow is melting. The glen is thawing. That's produced 36 fish over the winter. This one produced 315 for the part of the year it was operational. And the woodcutter no longer has a tool. So that is going to be a job for next year, is sorting out tool production. Evidently. Oh, the snow's back. It's early spring. So uh, we will leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more of Oxburg. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.